You're going to put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Tell me one. I'll take everything. I'll put you so much I don't want to go to jail. All right, so I'm going to count this in front of you. I remember you. You would come up to the Ocotillo with your face mask, and I'd be like, that kind of stuff so fine. Yeah. I'm too cute for a prison. Don't do that to me. Suspects oftentimes do very weird things around cops to avoid getting arrested. But what happens when the suspects just can't help but flirt with cops? Here are three times that happened, starting with a very flirtatious driver who had crashed into a traffic light. It all started when cops arrived at the scene of a crash to meet very angry folks who claimed that the driver was drunk. While the driver agreed to have taken alcohol, knowing the exact amount of alcohol she took was a huge chore. How much have you had to drink today? Not very much. Okay, what is not very much? Like the legal limit. Okay, which is what? Like not very much because I ate and I drank okay. water in between cool. two. The suspect later disclosed that she worked at a bar where she took some vodka, and with the fact that she crashed into a traffic pole, the officers were not surprised when they took her through field sobriety tests, and she flopped at them. One, two, one thousand three, ten four, thank you. One thousand five, one thousand six. All right, ma'am, go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me, okay? You're being placed under arrest for DUI. So far, the suspect remained neutral towards the officers and showed no flirtatious behaviors. But when she got to the jail, things became a whole lot different. Okay. I'm getting prepared. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope I haven't been, been disrespectful. No, I hope I haven't been disrespectful to your dog. All right, so I'm going to count this in front of you. I remember you. You would come up to the Ocotillo with your face mask, and I'd be like, that kind of stuff, fine. Yeah. And then, like, respectfully, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, because, like, I'm a mess right now. But I'd be like, that kind of stuff, fine. you come up with, like... Two other officers, and you, yeah, but you probably don't remember me. No, no, I remember that. I was, I was yeah. cuter than this, but yeah. <laughs> right, you yeah. had your face mask on, but I was like, that man is so fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's get back to business. Obviously, nobody wants to date any woman that's looking like this, so yeah. And going to jail, you. But yeah. You are such a handsome man. Oh, Respect thank you. Fully. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Put that with How long have you worked here? Uh, the suspect played with her hair, took several sly gazes at the cop, and indirectly asked if he would date her, all while using a high-pitched tone of voice. She was very open with her flirtatious remarks and did not attempt to cover it up. For a brief moment, it seemed like the suspect had forgotten that she was being arrested for almost endangering the lives of people on the road, and instead thought she was talking to a guy she met at a social event. But all this was nothing compared to the rest of her night. I hope at least I'm like one of the cuter people that you've had in your cop car. Oh. <laughs> do not confirm or I'm too cute for a prison. Don't do that to me. I guess you could be stuck with worse. You could be stuck with somebody stinky and ugly and I'm neither. Did you say stinky? Yeah. <laughs> Get ugly, <laughs> but I'm neither. I'm cute. I'm sorry. Wild, man. Come over here. I'm sorry. It happens. You lead the way. Okay. Where did you wear? Applebee's. Do you love it? Uh, no, I didn't like no, it. Didn't no, it wasn't my thing. Uh, you were too cute for at Applebee's. Oh yeah, well that's you know, the only place they hire dudes. So. <laughs> But the, uh, I was just going to school down there, so that's my job when I was... The suspect complimented the cop and managed to tell him he was cute at any chance she got. It was very hard not to view her mannerisms towards the cop as flirtatious, but it also could have been her nature, as she was also that way with other people at the hospital. No, don't treat me like that, no. How are you? I'm a felon, not well. No. <laughs> Hi! No, wait, give me a hug, though. Hi! I'm sorry. Your baby will be one of my last hugs since jail. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. I did that, though, so it's okay. I just want to be as cute as you one did. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's Love you. Love you. Super happy. Hi. Hey, might as well choose to be happy if you're in a shit situation. You should have Plus, I got stuck with this cutie. Uh, I got stuck with the cutest dog. I'm you still, you know everyone in there or what? Um, no, I'm just a 
people person. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can talk to everybody. I do know Brandon, but other than that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> she hugged a doctor and joked around with a male nurse, which made her appear as a naturally bubbly person who would normally compliment and joke around with people. But as tempting as such an assumption was, it still had some reservations as these were people she already knew from her visits to the hospital. So her level of relatability with the cop arresting her only appeared more suspicious. Thank you. Very kind of you. Yes, yes. How I've, old are you? 27. <gasps> Very young. No. Nah. Too young. What's that? Yes, you're young. Yeah, I hope so. 27, that sounds yes. like it. I feel old though. No, you're I feel young. I work too much. Yes. You probably do work too much. <laughs> yeah. But you are handsome. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. I you're appreciate welcome. that. You're welcome. Not to make us feel awkward. <laughs> the female was charged with aggravated DWI, mandatory financial responsibility, reckless driving, and traffic lanes. She managed to keep her flirtatious on the wraps and very family friendly. But the next suspect's flirtations were a lot more edgier. You're going to put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. It all started on March 9th, 2022, when a New Mexico officer pulled over a vehicle on the highway for reckless driving and weaving between lanes. The stop was pretty normal, as the officer explained the reason for the stop. But unlike most people who deny the claims and underscore their actions. Any, any idea why I'm stopping you? Uh, well, no, I was in and out of traffic. Okay, well, Zooming in and out. Okay, well, speeding. When I saw you, there was no traffic around you. Okay, but you weren't. You, you were. You were staying in your lane. That you were. You well, were. I got a call from my son okay. that he was worried that my mom wasn't home, and my aunt. There's just a long story. So I was trying to rush home. Okay, gotcha. And then, and then, and then, like you, like you, you, you like you, like started drifting, over to the okay. to the to lane to the to lane to the right. Never signaled. Okay. Then you then you can exit onto Coors. Your tires once again went over the line. I will tell you, I don't ever signal. Okay. Well, you... So that is an honest thing. But okay. I don't ever signal. Okay. So, uh, so I walk up to the vehicle. Uh, there's only in the car. How much did you drink today? Uh, earlier. How much was how much was there? Like a beer earlier. The woman later identified as Jenna seemed to take full responsibility for her actions. The woman outed herself about never signaling while driving and also agreed to have taken alcohol. With this, she was taken through field sobriety tests, but after weaving between lanes and over the lane dividers multiple times, the results weren't very shocking. Oh, okay, you want to stop? Come on with me. Ms. Maldonado, Ms. Ms. Maldonado, stand right here and face my camera. Put both hands behind your back. The woman was now under arrest for DUI, and the cop took her to the station for a breath test. Through this time, she only engaged in respectful conversations with the cop and only asked necessary questions. But as expected by this video, that was all about to change. Okay. No, you have to stay cuffed while you're here. Oh. You're an athlete. Are you afraid of me? You're an athlete, remember? Okay. No. I'm... Probably should have wore white, huh? White shoes? You're not married. Why not? I was once before. Yeah? Yeah, no, no more. What happened? Life. Life happens. Sometimes you just fly out of love. It just doesn't work out. How old are you? How, how do you think I am? I mean, you look kind of young. Okay. Thank you. Do you have kids? I do have, I have two kids. Many? Two. Oh, I heard that. I met <laughs> Jenna asked if the cop was married and if he had kids. She also complimented his appearance by saying he was too young. Although these could be passed as just attempts at making small talk, it wasn't necessarily what she said, but how she said it. She looked the cop straight in the eyes and smiled at him the entire time with her witty and playful remarks only getting more pronounced. What you're gonna do is you take a deep breath and blow like a balloon. Don't stop blowing until I tell you to. You're gonna put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Go, okay, blow constantly like a balloon. Like blow, like blow up a balloon. You know, you know how big a balloon balloon is. Take well, a deep I have breath. an idea in my mind, and it seems weird. Sorry. Okay, don't let it be weird. More? Nope. You, you keep stopping. <laughs> <laughs> you, come on, come on, Jenna. You got this. Take a deep breath and blow. Oh no. I'm... What's that? 
a date tomorrow. Well, you're gonna be in jail, girl. I have to go off so if you were to just take me home. I'd have, I'd have got fired. No, I can't. Okay, I, I, I can't be taking you home. Jenna was charged with a DUI, and she wasn't to go on the date with the officer. They did seem to get along, though, and would likely have hit it off if they met under different circumstances. But the next suspect's flirtatious request was bluntly turned down by the officers. Oh, but please, can you not make an exception? Please, I, I promise I'll be We are past home. that. I need you to sit in the car. What would I have to do? On October 30th, 2022, a Florida officer noticed a vehicle stopped at an illegal spot near a red light. But as he pulled the vehicle over, he found that she had committed a host of criminal offenses. The reason I got stopped, a few things. When you're sitting at the light back here to make the left, yeah. you're all the way out in the intersection. Oh, okay. Like you were past the crosswalk, but you were you were on Toledo Blade for making the left. Okay. Um, that, the tags on the car, is the car registered to you? Yes, sir. Okay, the tags on the car expired back in March. Yes, sir. Or April, I'm sorry. Um, and your license is suspended. Did you know your license was suspended? I apologize. The woman was driving with a five-time suspended license and with a tag that expired five months prior. She also had three active suspensions for failure to pay traffic citations and violation of financial responsibility. She had no business being in a car, but things got even worse for her when the officer smelled a strong odor of alcohol from her breath. Where are y'all really coming from today? Because your eyes are bloodshot and glossy. Speech is slightly slurred. I'm just very tired, that's all. There's alcohol coming off the Okay? Check your eyes. Do a couple exercises. Make sure you Okay? Cool with that? Mm -hmm. If you have no questions, you can go ahead and begin. From the results, the female was confirmed to be impaired and in no position to drive. With that much against her already, getting arrested for DUI on top was something the female suspect was willing to do anything to avoid. Please, sir, I can't have a DUI. Please. Okay. I'll do everything. I literally, I promise. Sir, I'm from Switzerland. I can't have a DUI. Please. It's, I don't want to get out of it. I don't want to get kicked out of the Wait until I'll have a white Please, sir, that's, it's going to ruin my whole life. That, that does, a DUI does not mean that you're going to up and be deported. Yes, because I'm from Switzerland. I don't, I'm on a green card. I'm not. Wait until I'll have a white face. I'm on a green card. I'm not on a... No. Please, sir. I promise I'll have myself pick me up. You can take my car. Please, it's, sir. It's As a green card holder in the U.S., the suspect was right to be concerned. A record of criminal activities could lead to loss of permanent resident status and thus deportation. And this could be regardless of whether convicted of the crime or not. But the suspect knowingly put herself in the situation, and the cops were just serving her the consequences of her actions. Although the officers knew she was desperate to get out of the arrest, they had no idea just how desperate she was. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and walk back in. But well, you're the one arresting me. Right? Yes, I am the one arresting you, but the decision to make the arrest is already out of my hands tonight. So let's walk back in. Why? Because everything we've done tonight is on video. Everything. The car, both of us, we're, we're videoing everything. We're not I have a camera here. Well, I but you can still make your decision about who, why you're going to arrest me. Yes, sir. It's, it's going to ruin my life, Korea, please, sir. Do you do you have a pair of a shorts or something in here that we can put on no, to cover you up a little bit? I'll put that on her. Please, sir, please. I'll take everything off. Please don't charge me, but I don't want to go to jail. Please, sir. I don't, I don't want you to take everything off. Please, sir, not tonight, please. I, I'm going to... I Adam, promise Adam. I'll have somebody pick me up and drive me home. I promise. I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit of decency. Yes, sir, but I, yep. uh, can we not just please make an no. exception or no, something? No, you need, we we need to go with that. I'm, I'm not going to ask you again. Please have a seat. I, I understand, but please, can you not make an exception? Please, I, I promise I'll be We are past that. I need you to sit in the car. Well, what would I have to do with you? Nothing. And there's nothing I can do, sir? No, ma'am. Naomi Furr was charged with DUI, driving with an open container, and driving with a five-time suspended license.
If you like this video, YouTube thinks you'd like this next one even more.